everybody it's your girl Renee Yvonne thank you for watching this video in advance if you have clicked on this video you are not here by mistake during this video I'm going to be reviewing with you how to overcome toxic thoughts overcoming toxic thoughts is something that I personally um, have struggled with <laughs> um you know along my journey and so i felt like this video was very important for anybody that is journeying along their healing journey because it is within the mind that controls so much and holds so much power so i wanted to give you guys these cool tips that you can apply to your life take it or leave it but they are amazing and i guarantee you want to stick to the end because you don't want to miss out on the golden nuggets that i'm going to share with you during this video so let's go ahead and let's get to it first thing that you want to do to overcome toxic thoughts is the essence of transmutation transmuting a lot of energy is something that's a very useful tool and it's just a fancy way of saying that you're turning lemons into lemonade in the essence that you take information and when you receive information or energy or experience something you then take that you um, then channel that energy instead of giving a you know a situation a negative you channel that energy and you turn it into a positive so in this instance for example if you got into a verbal altercation with someone to where things got out of hand instead of you know coming back at that individual and you know going back and forth with them you basically turn the um turn it around by releasing the situation, probably counteracting the individual with something peaceful, taking that energy and basically taking your power back and doing something that you'd actually wanna do. So instead of arguing back and forth with somebody, you basically go on about your day doing, you know, something that's gonna bring you positivity. You know, whether that be going for a walk and it aids your health benefits or if it's, you know, um, working your business because you're making more money that's going to support your household instead of you taking that energy and investing all these thoughts and this energy into going back and forth with this person, you take your power back. And so um, that's a huge reason why. Um, I wanted to create this video and help you with overcoming toxic thoughts. So now that that's been said, um, I want to kind of walk you through the steps of how to overcome the toxic thoughts, okay? So the first thing that you want to do is that if you or when you come to a situation where a toxic thought, a lower vibrational thought arises, then you want to let it basically let the thought come in and uh, it's so funny because i feel like i grew up in church and a lot of the thoughts that i had i would shun them off i would kind of push them away and i would not want to acknowledge them i would just quickly shut them down so this is really key that if a lower vibrational or negative thought comes into your mind then you allow it to come in, okay? And then once you do that, the next thing you want to do is you want to basically observe the thought. I don't know if, if any of you guys are familiar with Muji, but Muji is one of my favorite speakers. Um, he brings the wisdom of consciousness, but I'm bringing him up because he always talks about, you know, observing things from the third person. And it basically helps take you out of the situation. So you have a an observer's point of view, an unbiased point of view as to what is really going on in every situation. So if a toxic thought does come into your mind, you want to basically take a look at it and you want to start to begin to ask yourself some questions. This is the section of you 
of your journey and what you're doing your work, right? You want to start to begin to ask yourself questions. Where did this thought first, you know, come from? Where, um, how old was I when I first heard this? Who said this? Where did I get this from? Um, you know, why do I feel this way? Um, you know, was I in a relationship that caused me to feel this way? Did my parents say this to me? Like, where, what, where did I get this from? So you want to start, you know, observing it, taking a look at it. And you want to ultimately identify any lie that is present within yourself. Okay, and you want to be able to identify the truth, the truth, because only the truth can set you free. Okay, so once you observe it in the third person, it helps you kind of take a look at where certain behaviors, certain thoughts come from. Okay, and this aids you to overcoming and healing internally. Okay, super important, super important. Now, the next thing you want to do after you observe it, you want to acknowledge it, okay? You always want to acknowledge how you feel, okay? Whether it be right or wrong, you want to acknowledge the fact that this is really happening, this thought is present in me, and um, yeah, you want to acknowledge it. You want to say, hello, hello, thought. <laughs> I welcome you, I acknowledge you. And then after you do that, you want to replace it with three truths, okay? So case in point, if you had, you know, begin to feel jealous of somebody, um, you know, let's just say one of your friends got a promotion or, you know, was opening up their own new business and the first thought in your head is like, oh, their business is not gonna do well. I'm like, hmm, okay. Well, the first thing you want to do is think about okay, why do I feel this way? Because if you have an abundant mindset, there's room for everyone to succeed. We all know this, right? Why am I not feeling happy for my friend? You want to acknowledge it in the third person and you want to kind of identify, well, maybe I'm not happy with where I am on my entrepreneurial journey when it comes to my business. Maybe I'm not completing all of my goals. Maybe I'm upset I haven't been as dedicated as they have been to open their business. Or maybe, you know, I haven't come into enough money. Or whatever it is, you want to acknowledge and get down to the root of it. And, um, and really begin to tell yourself truths. Like I said, you want to replace that negative thought with three positive things. So the truth of the matter is, is that abundance is available at your fingertips. If you can believe it, then you can achieve it. And I know these are like the most cliche things, but they're the truth. If um, there are no restrictions for anybody, you just have to sometimes put one step in front of the other. So if you can't believe it, if you can believe it, then you can achieve it. And then also, you want to tell yourself that you're worthy or you're capable of creating a plan that's going to work for yourself. And those are three truths. That's how you take the energy and that's how you overcome the toxic thought and turn it into positive. Turning every single thought, which is your lemon, into lemonade for your life. Now, I hope this video was helpful for you. If it was, please click the like button. Please share some things that you do. If this is something that you struggle with or have struggled with in the past before, and you have some tips and advice for other individuals that might be going through this as well, um, subscribe to the Renew with Renee channel. Hit that notification bell so you'll know when new videos come out. And I will see you guys on the next video. Go ahead and check out everything else on the Renew with Renee page as well. It is a great, great help. But I just want to thank you guys for watching. Let's continue to recover lost time, rebuild our lives, and rejuvenate together. Thank you guys. Be blessed.